weekend schedule yet? Yes. Yes, and? New first. Oh, do tell. Well, I don't know yet. What do you think he's gonna look like? Oh, hmm. uh, tall, dark, dark. <laughs> handsome. Of course. Manly man. Your favorite. Why not? <laughs> Hi there. Anyone can do it here. Hi. Hi. Hey, are you guys going to Hong Kong? Yeah, we are. Great. I'm your first officer, Terry. Oh my God. I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. And you are? Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Nice to meet you. OK. Looks like the cockpit just turned into the box office. The first assumption is almost always that I'm a flight attendant, even with my hat on. I've stopped correcting people. Excuse me, are you in flight 113 to Hong Kong? Yeah. Good. When you do the meal service, can you please make sure my mother takes her medications? I'll let the flight attendants know. Reactions from other pilots vary depending on the airline. Air Japan pilots generally have a look of disgust when they see me. Arabian Air pilots look at me with what I can only describe as suspicion. The Air Provence pilots And then there's the other women pilots. Officer O'Reilly. Well, 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 Captain McKay. <laughs> Looks like Jet West is handing out the four stripe and Cracker Jack boxes these days. Don't worry, you'll get one one day if you guys don't go bankrupt first. Well, you guys are certainly saving money on your uniforms. So how much jet time do you have now? Gee, I'm not quite sure. It's hard to keep track of while I'm counting all my shareholder money. Mm. Nice hat. Thanks, came with the pension plan and the wide bodies, and the overseas routes. But don't worry, your airline will grow up one day. I'll think about that while I'm counting all of my money. And don't worry, you'll get your four stripes sooner or later, maybe even before you retire. But I am an optimist. Speaking of four stripes, where's your captain? Stop off for some prune juice? You know, I'd love to stay and chat, but Shanghai's calling. Or was it Hong Kong? It's so hard to keep track. Anyway, have fun in buttfuck Saskatchewan. Oh, and when you guys get some real airplanes, give me a call. I'll teach you how to fly them. Oh, I usually only save these for the kids on our flights, but I think your first officer might like one. Ta-ta. Better enjoy those overseas flights before we buy your airline. Oh my god, it is true. That's Robin my best friend for the last 13 years. I met her in aviation college. I was her instructor. In the pilot world, flight instructors are either really young or old retired airline pilots. We were both 21. Let's go straight again. Great, so get this matched with the horizon. At first, she thought I was pretty harsh. Don't look at me, you're flying the fucking okay. airplane. Okay. And I thought she was a princess. You want me to enter yourself now? You're the pilot. Why are you asking me? Should I do it now? Hey, okay, watch your heading. Watch your heading, keep that heading bug centered. Heading. Heading bug. Heading bug. Heading bug. I'm 
but soon we grew pretty tight and did everything together. We're flying, we're flying, yeah. Indian Foxtrot Romeo, do you have the traffic at your two to three o'clock on left? Oh, honey, honey, here we go again. Racing off before we begin. Once you get out into the real world, things are different. A lot different. You do anything you can to get flying hours. I remember my first charter. A friend of a friend's friend needed to get to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. I'd never heard of it either. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi. You must yeah. be my passenger. Uh -huh. I'm Terry. Nice yeah, my you. uncle used to be a pilot. We used to buzz the cars on the highway, and we used to buzz my cousin's house. Can we buzz my cousin's house? No. It's on the way. Sorry, it's kind of illegal. What? And besides, we can't afford the time. The weather in Meadow Lake's going down. Oh, so. well, it won't take us that long. Well, no, we can't afford the gas. Oh, I'll slip you an extra 50. You know what we should do when we're up there? We should do some of those, ah, uh, what do you call them? Spins or is it spiral dives? No, yeah, I think it's spiral dives. Not you with know what? all the gear. I'm gonna call, call them right now and tell them to get their camera ready. Over. And my slushy just went everywhere, and my dad turned to me and said, Damn it, George! Why you you gotta stick that slurpee on here? I told you not to! He's such a kidder. Anyway, that was the last time I was ever on a small airplane. My uncle always used to do turns and flips and stuff when he took us flying, and barrel rolls. Do you know how to do a barrel roll? I always wondered how long it took people to learn how to do those things. He even had us inverted one time. Can we go inverted? No. Ah, oh, shoot, I loved it when he went inverted. What about a course tour or something? You know, you haven't been in a plane in a really long time. Are you sure you want to do this? Heck yeah! Okay. Just remember you asked for it. <laughs> Just let me fly! In the book Jonathan Livingston Siegel, Richard Bach said, one school is finished and the time has come for another to begin. And I thought learning to fly would be the hard part. Next week on Jaguars. You don't want to go flying today, little lady. What are you two doing here?